the hours I have wasted trying to get these microphones dialed in. I mean, I got the Blue Eddy, which is a great microphone, but the little jack there is junk. And this one, <laughs> I guess the last couple of podcasts, I had the settings wrong. It was actually recording off of the camera and not the microphone. Even though when I speak in the microphone, the thing goes like that. I was thinking I'm talking out, but now I'm actually talking out of this microphone. But I don't like it. And I ordered another one. This time I went with the top of the line. I know, man, I can't stand bad stuff. Cameras, GoPros suck, so I had to get better ones. I mean, I, and it, you know, I don't like to see my quality on my videos terrible. And I don't know what I did the other day, but I made a video. And one of the settings on this microphone got screwed up. So the whole, it was either, and you know, when you've spent the whole day or whatever making a video, well, you can't go back and remake it. Because you've already built whatever you was making the video. You know, what are you going to do? Go tear it apart and then start over? So you got to deal with the best, you know, what you got. And, man, I, you know, I had a hard time hearing it. So that's why I invest in the good stuff, not the cheesy ones. Because I want my videos to be quality. And the same as my podcast, you know, it's, if you're a podcaster, you got your microphone as your most, and your camera, your most important thing. So, the next one will be the last one. I hope so. But it's, it's the, it's the one all the podcasters use. You'll see it. I am hoping, there's no particular uh, subject here today, guys, but just kind of going over what I'm doing. I am hoping to get out there and really go after it this weekend with the supplies I have on hand and get most of that shop out there finished and get the new podcast area set up. I have cedar lumber. I think I'm just going to make that whole wall cedar. Put some do's and dads on there. Make it look good. And I'll run it off my laptop rather than my desktop. Internet picks up good out there. Uh, I got Starlink and the router's pretty good. We're supposed to be getting la or, uh, laser um, fiber here anytime. They've already ran the lines in front of my house. I signed up for it almost two years ago when I first heard about it. So I should be the first one on the list on this road. One of the first. Interested. I'm interesting. It's going to be interesting to see how they do that because I guess it goes underground. Yet the wire is up on the pole up there. So, and I got a pretty, pretty long front yard. And I'm just going to have them put the thing in the front of the house. That way it covers everywhere. And then I'll probably have to get an extender, a booster to get out to the shop. Because I got to have internet out there. Uh, I just came in from finishing the workbenches. That, come, that went good. Come, but I ran out of screws and... I know I got more here. I just can't find them. That's one of the, the main reasons for putting all the pegboard on the walls. I want all my tools in there. And the only things that won't be in there is yard tools, weed eater parts, things like that. That can remain in that shed. So that's what I'm doing there. Now I have got quite a boost on both of these channels. Uh, more so on the other channel. I probably... I've almost put a thousand, well, I have by now, a thousand new subscribers. Man, that's great. I've grown faster in the last two weeks than I've grown, you know, in the last three and a half or whatever years I've been doing this. And that's cool. But I have invested my time for the last two weeks sitting here learning how to upload my videos right there is a certain thing you have, you know, things you have to do. Uh, how to title my videos better. How to do my thumbnails better. And it has paid off 
Big time. I mean, big time. I can put up a short right now, and it it gets 20 to 500 subs. I mean, I know how to do I really studied putting up shorts. A lot of people don't like them, but if you're not doing them as a content creator, that's foolish. That is foolish because I made 20 bucks off a one 30-second short. $20 in the span of eight days. So people that think they don't make money, they do. May, you know, 20 bucks ain't much, but for a short, you got 30 seconds. Well, I had more than 30 seconds invested in making it, but they're making more money. And when you're making more money, you know, that's that's always a good thing, right? So I've been putting out a lot of shorts. I hope that don't irritate people. But I try to put about two a day out. Uh, I've gotten better at making them. And then, you know, you you check out other... You, you look at the shorts that are making, getting a million views, 500,000 views. And you kind of model after that. And that's what I've been doing. And I, now I know how to upload them in the right way. But... I got one short that's, last I looked, uh, 130,000 views. And it's gotten me almost 500 subscribers. So, they do work. Yeah, I can argue with people all day. You know, I see some channels, yeah, they're, they're at 20,000.9. But you don't never see that point .9 go up. Well, they're not, make, they're not putting an effort on their channel. You have to work at it. It's just like a job. You have to work at it to get it to work for you. And so hopefully it's upwards from here on out. And you never know when you're going to put that one video out that goes viral. You know, the, the video I did about losing weight. Uh, originally, that was supposed to be better. And, and I was going to, you know, keep it a secret all the way till I lost the weight. But then I couldn't do YouTube without you guys knowing. So I went ahead and put it out early, but that thing's at 20,000 views right now. For me, for my channel, that's pretty good. And I got a lot of subs off of it. So, you know, it takes work. Just like any job you do, if, if you go in half-assed, that's what you're going to get, you know, and you're going to get a half-assed paycheck. That's just how it works. So if you really want to make it successful... You got to work hard at it. But I've been sitting in here too long. And today I said enough. I went out and worked. And now I'm motivated to finish that. And I'm hoping to have my first podcast out there Monday. We'll see if I... I'm not promising that. We'll see if I can get it done. But I've got tomorrow and Sunday and nothing else to do. So that's what we're going to do. But no special subject today, guys. Uh... I have got a video uploading right now about what I did today out there. So when you're done, well, this, this, this might be up about the same time, but if you haven't went over there and checked it out, do so. I accidentally uploaded it in 4k. So it's taken forever. Those usually take, even with my fast internet hour and a half. And I don't normally upload in 4k a lot because it's really not that important. It doesn't look much different. Unless you're on a 4K television. But they are nice to have them in 4K. So that's all I got for today. That's why I didn't have one this morning. And I was wrangling with these microphones. So we are curing that. I got not only the microphone. I got, and this is another thing. I got a mixing board today. This All podcasters have these, you know. I have no clue how to work it yet. But the microphone plugs into this, and this microphone plugs into a USB. It's a USB cord. It does not work on this. This is not a professional microphone. This is a $69 microphone. So I ordered the right stuff, and uh, I think you'll, once I fiddle around with it, I may not have time to fiddle around with it the next few days, but it ain't going to be here till Tuesday anyway, but. We're going to work on improving these, improving the subjects. Uh, I don't know. If you like them the way they are, you know, but they'll get better. Thanks for watching, guys. Happy trails.